Hello everyone, and I want like to show you how you make this beautiful chainless foundation. It's kind of literally it goes straight away chain and single crochet. It's in US or double crochet. It's in UK, and it's kind of like no, it makes you like no, it's even like no stretchy, and it's easy to do. Whereas when you're doing a chain. It can be kind of a little bit rigid, yes, or it can be another problem. You know, when you make a longer project, you make the chain all the way, but it's, for example, you have chain of 100, and then you are actually kind of like, you know, making all single crochet in US or double crochet in UK, and you end up way too much chains. What happens? You are actually tearing your work away, and start over again. Or another thing, when you don't have enough the chains. So again, you are tur turning a, like no, tear your work again and start over. So I will show you how you can do chainless found foundation for single crochet or double crochet. A single crochet it's in US term and UK it will be double crochet. So take your working yarn, make a loop like this one, put yarn over and put that you're making loop, okay? Then you make chain of two, one and two. In uh, first chain, but you made it. I actually like to put pull through it all those in uh, both yarns, yes. So I pull yarn all through, yes. Then I make chain one and pull yarn through all both loops. That's your first. A single crochet in US or double crochet it will be in UK term. Then next you like no you see it's just kind of like no that one loop yeah I kind of try to weave in the middle then on the first like no on the side you picking and right in the back you see you have kind of loop up here okay so I'm taking those two loops, yes. Pull yarn through. Make chain one. Then pull yarn through both loops. And it's kind of your work, it's kind of st seems goes on the sideways. So you kind of literally kind of goes in the like, no, on the like working up, like now going all the way up in, in this way, okay? So. I will show you again. So you have my kind of loop, it's in here. So leave that loop over here. First, take this loop up here. And then in the back, you see when you turn on the back, you know, you can see this loop, okay? I'm picking loop, this one and that one. And the loop, what's in here, I leave it. On the like you know, on the side, okay. So taking that loop, what's in the first what on the side, and going take that in the back. Pull yarn through. Make chain one. So you have two loops on your hook, and now pull all both through loops, okay. So that's your your single uh, US single crochet or uh, double crochet it will be in UK term. So now again show you again. So you take uh, that loop up here, loop on the back. When you're doing like that it actually makes you see how it makes nice V stitch appear, okay? So now you do chain one as you're making a chain. You now you have a two loops on your hook and pull both of them through, okay? Now again. 
on the take two loops, pull two, chain one, and take two both two uh, both loops. So that is your single crochet in US or double crochet in UK. So now again, take, don't take this one in here, okay? Turn kind of work like this way. So you put in here and that last in here, okay? Pull yarn through. Then you make chain one and pull through through loops, okay? So that you make like you no know, foundation single crochet in US or double crochet in UK. You see how it's a kind of like you no, know, it's a single in here and like you no, know, like a chain, it goes on the bottom. And it's easy to count as well, like you no. Know, how you are like no you think so how how many t stitches i actually have made so it's easy when you are kind of like no when you're looking yes you have stitch a uh, v stitch on the top and right on the bottom you have a v stitch in here that is one next one you see that you have like no uh that the post for single crochet or double crochet in US. Uh, US it's single crochet and UK it's double crochet. This one is will be post. This one is your top stitch. And right on the other post on the bottom, you have stitches as well. Okay? That's where you know that's kind of like no. So you have in here one, two, three, four five, six. So at the moment I have six stitches in here. That way you can count how many you have it. So hope it's like, you know, helps you and happy stitching.